My name is Alex Arnold, and I'm a horticulturist here at the Desert Museum. This is a Baja fairy duster. Its Latin name is Caliandra californica. Great plant for attracting pollinators to your yard. It has a really long and prolific flowering season, so it's a great addition to anybody looking to create a pollinator garden in their yard. This isn't uh, native to the Tucson Valley, but it is native to the Sonoran Desert. It occurs in Baja, California, and in Sonora. Where it occurs in nature is usually slopes of hills or sort of the sides of streams. So it does like a well-draining soil, but it can pretty much thrive in all of our native soil around here, even the less well-draining soils. It's a cousin to a native species of fairy duster that we have here, right here in the Tucson Mountains. The reason that we especially like it for horticulture is because it has a more prolific blooming season than our native one tends to have. It also is more robust and larger. Part of the reason that its blooming season is longer than ours is because being from Baja, California, it's somewhat of a winter grower like so many things from Baja. So its flowering season tends to extend deeper into the winter than our native Caliandra, which usually by now will be done flowering. Baja fairy duster is a really tough plant. It's from a very sunny, hot environment, so it can handle basically full sun. It doesn't have any thorns, which makes it really great for having in a home landscape. It can be a single accent plant or sometimes is used even as hedgerows. You can have it planted right along a pathway and you'll have a constant supply of butterflies, bees, pollinators but you won't have to worry about catching your pants on thorns or cutting yourself. Another fairy duster we have here on grounds is a true Tucson Mountain native, the desert fairy duster, also known as Caliandra aerophylla. As you can see, it doesn't grow as big and tall as the Baja fairy duster, it has a much shorter form, and the flowers are much lighter in color, kind of varying from almost white to a lighter pink shade. This is blooming profusely still. However, in nature, you might walk right by one of these and not even notice it. For much of the year, it will look like not much more than a pile of sticks. However, with the rains, pretty much from spring on, but especially during the monsoon, you'll see it go into these profuse blooms and then all of a sudden, driving along the side of the road, they'll start popping out to you. Both are great for any garden. If I have a landscape where I'm trying to recreate what you see in the hills around town, I would go with this one. If you're looking for more color, more profuse blooms, the Baja one could be good for, you know, that kind of situation. And where does the name come from, Fairy Duster? The name comes from the flowers, I believe, which sort of look like little, little dusters. Actually, you know what? I've never really thought about it. I assume it comes from the flowers, but that's like a feather duster. I don't really know why a fairy. I have no idea. I think the name comes from the little poof-like flowers, which are kind of fairy-like and definitely look like a feather duster. Okay. <laughs> that's great. <laughs> that's my interpretation.